Thank you very much for the introduction. I'm honored to deliver a keynote at such a forward-thinking gathering. Thank you for inviting me. I'm in a different position than either of you at this conference or the other keynote speakers. As for open source software, I'm an end user and have not have not contributed anything. But however, I'd like to take this opportunity to reflect my experiments and express my expectations for open source software community from an outsider viewpoint. I have been teaching at the university and I have <coughs> benefited from open source uh, more than a little over the last 20 years. The first, let me introduce my research background and research field. I spent most of my life at the university, at the Department of Applied Physics, was the university. I was in charge of graduate course for the measurement and information engineering, and organized four groups to work with students. The first is related to images. I did research on image processing, recognition, and graphics. And one of them was the recognition and synthesis of facial expressions, as well as the development of an image database and a four-dimensional space viewing system using computer graphics and virtual reality system. There you can see the scene like this. The second is media information processing. We have built various systems, especially for interactive music. For example, this is a system that recognizes human conducting. A computer orchestra and a human pianist are performing a concert under the direction of a human conductor. It's a very old research of mine. So the conducting is uh, the world global language. The, so it can be understood by computer and also human beings. The thirdly, we have been working on the neural network and data analysis in the field of information processing, which is a little more fundamental. This is an example of gaming skill acquisition with reinforcement learning. In addition, various attempts were made on the principle of new information processing related to human cancer. I'll explain later. The last is a group that integrates these to create robots and produce various robots. Most of them uh, pursue robustness in the actual environment, but we also conducted research on the new robot based on chemical reaction. I'm most proud of that fact that the students who obtained degrees through these studies are now active as a leading researchers and engineers. In building many of these systems, we are greatly indebted to open source software. Without it, it would not have been possible to tackle so many topics. It is important not only for the limited research fund, but also because we were able to introduce into the system what was beyond our capability and skills. Through these studies, I came to think about the three stages of information processing. The first is physical layer to handle information given as a physical quantity. And its basic principle is a physical law, law of nature, 
and causality is a key issue. This is a field of signal processing. The second is so-called information processing. That deals with the symbols or their meanings. In this layer, our base is logic and rules freed from the law of physics, where only logical consistency is a criterion for the legitimacy. The artificial intelligence research that mechanizes human thinking is exactly in this layer. The third layer is quite different from the first and the second. It is at a place beyond logic, I would say. The basic principle here is how to handle information processing that fuses intelligence, emotion, and will. The goal is, it can be said that empathy or convince beyond logic. We named it as a Kansei information processing. Through this stage, the scope of information processing has expanded grow, grow greatly, and the clear manifestation of this can be seen in the change in the way commands are given to machines. At the beginning, switches were employed to start and stop machines in the factories. These are substituted by command input soon. But in most cases, the command with numerical value, such as go forward by one meter or run, turn 19 degrees, are essential. This type of numeric command is still mainstream, and there is a need for more precise settings. A more human way is to give instruction, for example, such as move forward much more, or turn a little. This will make your work much smoother. Such a method is not so difficult if you have a conversion table that simply maps degrees to quantities. However, the relationship between the degrees and the numerical value depends on the situation. So a thought of situational awareness is required. Recently, researchers have explored more sophisticated methods of instruction. It is the most human indication schemes that cannot be easily parameterized. For example, apply it neatly, hold it gently, or make a beautiful shape, something like that. I call this Kansei command. Kansei is a Japanese word to express some subjective concept like sensibility, sensuality, intuition, mood, or emotion. It is also used as sense or feeling. We Japanese use the term in many different contexts in daily conversation. For example, her kansei is fit to me. My kansei cannot accept this design. Beatles express the kansei of the 60s, something like that. What Paul Sharp kansei to be an artist. It is said that the post-industrial society will be the kansei society. The kansei is sometimes a contrast to intelligence. But I would like to say Kansei is another human ability to of understanding. 
can say include psychological universality and individuality at the same time. We Japanese also believe in a virtual organ called the kokoro, the meaning is mind, which is associated with kansei. Kokoro is an imaginary organ to have a kansei functionality. With this rapid increase in the performance of computer, especially in the Japan in the last 25 years, there has been a rapid increase in the movement of, to consider cancer information processing as the next logical information, next to the logical information system. At the beginning of the research, we discussed English translation of cancer, but we could not find suitable word and decided to use Kansei even in English paper. And now we have a community named the Kansei Engineering Society, Academic Society in Japan. This slide shows the great grant category of granting aid for scientific research supported by Japanese government you can see a lot of cancer related section name uh, and uh, can understand that the cancer is now a popular word for research of science and engineering. Around the same time, the term affective comp computing, affective computing appeared in the United States, but I would like to use cancer with a broader meaning as it is. Under this background, a new trend technology is coming. Until now, the most technology can be said to be efficiency standard. The faster, higher, larger, smaller are very important for industry, for convenient life. And the result are published in technical, technical journal and the academic, academic conference. So this type of technology is to make human superman, beyond human. Do what human cannot do. On the other hand, there comes a trend in technology that seems to be in the recent Kansei era. In other words, it may be said that it is a comfort standard. Easier, happier, more joyful, more spiritual. For service or for quality of life. Such a result is also important to be published in the academic society or journals, but also Maybe we can see it at a museum or a concert hall or a amusement run. Such a technology can be said to make human human for the human renaissance. So that this technology is do what human can do. It is quite timely that open source production model appeared in software development in the era of cancer or in the era of hard to define or now is an era when something new is about to be born or an era where when something new must be born. The one expectation of mine is on the technology development. Open software, or open source, is best fit to such solution beyond the limitation of science, I think. Open source brings out the maximum use of individual talent. When the goal is well-defined, we have a strong strategy. The waterfall model, it's useful to organize and control all the solution process. And sometimes 
agile model is good to make the process flexible to accommodate the circumstance changing. While in the case that goal is not well defined, open source model is one of the solutions to overcome the difficulties I consider. I dream such open source models are extended to manufacturing in general to make production process more suitable to the HERA, cancer HERA. Another expectation of mine with open source is more than technological but socio-economical issue. I dream to make change on the society with new socio-economical norms. I see some keys in the product and cash flow in open source, open source model. It forms different ecosystem from the present economy based, based on barter. The case of non-profit organization or charity like property relief or nursing care support is similar. But charity case is has only one way flow. While open source model has, of course it is indirect, but has circular model, flow model of money to make the total system sustainable and autonomous. I'm afraid that recently the ratio of individual, contrib individual contributors in open source software is decreasing. I read some report. I suspect, suspect that the reason is the low income. They are working for pride and self-improvement. Of course, time, as Jim said, time and tools are important. But I consider that appropriate labor compensation is required even for non-employed employed people. Of course, enterprise employers are welcome to magnify the power of open source community, but we need free and open interaction much more with diversity for the joy of creating together. Rather than being rather than being incorporated into current financial norms, I hope that open source model will act as a trigger or the driving force to change the situation. And finally, it is a dream for the future of mankind. Advances in the science and technology had made many of the dreams of 100 years ago a reality. The secret gadget that was in Draymond's pocket, that this is cartoon, has become reality. Automatic translation or the telepresence, something like that. In the same way, social issues are also improving, although still incomplete. Most of them were only a dream a few centuries ago. I have been telling my students that unless there is an appropriate gap between dreams and reality, people will not feel energetic. We need something that appreciate the gap. Universities around the world have so far researched and taught how to achieve their dreams. But from now on, in order to widen the gap again, it will be more important task to raise new dreams high. We cannot put dreams on top of dream as long as you don't face reality. Your dreams will only spread sideways and 
will not grow taller. From this point as well, we believe that the development and visualization of open source activities is important to dream for the further society. These are my considerations, but at the end, I will do an introduction that also serve as an advertisement. It's been three years since the 18 meter high Gundam started to move at the Gundam factory Yokohama at the Yokohama port Yamashita Pier. Gundam is a giant mo mobile suit robot that appears in the popular TV anime Gundam. I've been engaged in this project as one of the leaders. The Gundam is about 10 times that of human. The volume is the thousand times that of human. It is almost impossible to make full-scale moving Gundam, I know. But when I heard about moving a full, making a full-scale moving Gundam, I thought that such an unreasonable challenge was necessary for the development of science and technology and our dream. And also, I thought that it would be a good opportunity to nurture new dreams. The finished moving, moving life-size Gundam weighs about 25 tons and is supported from the behind by the Gundam carrier, which weighs about 130 tons. At the same time, one of the key members of the project, Professor Okada from Tokyo University, developed a Gundam simulator for this real science Gundam to study and play based on open source software and release to the public. And many people enjoyed Gundam manipulation at home. With the limitation of current technology, Yokohama Gundam present fantasy as a real moving entity. It will be the base of next fantasy. Yokohama Gundam factory is open every day, except Tuesday, today. <laughs> until the March of next year. The site is very near from here, so please visit. It, could, it is cold in the night these days, but night show is very fantastic. So I am an amateur when, I came, when it came to open source software. So my expectations may be too naive but listening to everyone's discussion yesterday and also today's Jim's report, I'm convinced that something new is about to emerge. I hope that my story will give you some hint or insight. Thank you very much for kind attention. <laughs>